What's up, it's your boy Talk here. Welcome back to another video. So I promised that I'd play 2000XX on the channel. So let's get started. This is the first time playing it in a long time. But I played it on the channel in the past. So let's see what this is all about. And as you guys can see, compared to last time, there was no 2B on the screen. So basically, in this version, it's kind of like a faster version of Melee. And, um, you know, I'm playing 2000XX because when I played it last time, it was really fun. And to be honest, um, I'm gonna play it again just because it's really one of my favorite, um, mods of this game. And it's actually really easy to access. The link will be in the description below if you guys play this. But, yeah, um, I'm gonna play as Falco because I actually don't play as Falco as much as I play as other characters. Let's see. Uh, level 6 stock. Level 3. Let's get this started. So, um, as you guys can see, there's only like, what, six stages? So, we only have Battlefield, Final Destination, Dreamland, Pokemon Stadium, Fountain of Dreams, and Yoshi's Story. So, there's not that much options here, but at the same time, it's actually pretty good. Um, this game is also made to look like it's in HD or something. You could also have like, widescreen, I believe, widescreen support. Um, but I forgot to turn that on, so I'm gonna do that later if I'm gonna record another version of this video. Anyways, um, we're gonna go Battlefield. We just played our Final Destination in the last part. And, um, this game always runs, or this mod, always runs at 60 FPS. That's just really good. Which will provide a great experience. I really want to record 60 FPS, but I don't know how to, that's the problem. But honestly. Alright, so let's get started. So, wow, I'm, I'm really doing bad so far. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, sick combo. I see you. I'm literally recording four episodes of this series right now. Like, like four episodes. Two for Friday and two from Saturday and Sunday, which is pretty good. That's a pretty good schedule, so I have to record this weekend because I'm usually, like, really lazy. But at the same time, like, I really want to provide the best content on the channel. Um, this video is going up on Saturday. First Saturday of this series, there's going to be one other episode that's going to be on another Saturday. So, yeah, be expecting that. Um, that's one thing I forgot. This is a multi-week series, which basically means it will go on for like 12 days Which is something I didn't really say in the first part, but I didn't mention it in the third part of this series So yeah, I want to clear some things up. If you didn't watch the third part, um, there's more information about that um, But um, yeah Let's see, I'm playing a spot on the Oh Wow, that is really cheap you see, I'm not trying to be competitive, I'm just trying to be good at Smash, you know? I'm not one of those guys. Alright, nice. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Psh, what? What did he just say? Um, I forgot. I actually threw stock Kirby, which is pretty good. Alright, moving on to the next match. That is Mr. Game Watch himself. So, um, yeah. The second match of this video. Let's get started. So, I used to play as Mr. Grimwatch a lot, and I mean a lot when I played this game. Um, I actually have three copies of this game, not joking, like, three physical copies. And, um, two of them don't work. And I only have one that works, which is the one I had for the longest time. I don't know why I have, um, two extra copies, but they don't work. Like, that'd be really messed up. What, did I just get the first death? death? What? Well, man, that'd be really messed up if I actually sold them on, on Amazon for, like, really high prices because I hate to see when people sell stuff for over um, price value even though like games like this should be adjusted for inflation because this game like I don't think it cost $60 back then I I'm not sure I didn't play games in 2001 so I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure back in like 2001 this game cost like maybe $50 I'm just saying I think games cost $60 now, which is about, I don't know, it's pretty expensive. But I think back then it cost like $50, because games weren't that expensive. 
But if it wasn't just for inflation, it would be like $70, I'm pretty sure. That's an estimation from my head. I'm not sure if that's actually correct. But, you know, I just hate to see when people overprice stuff, you know? It really sucks. What was Kirby expecting? I was literally right next to him. Like, honestly. Boy. Let's go. Nice. Oh, really? You just had to do that. Try to restock you just like I did with Falco. Oh, wow. I had a chance. I had a chance, but I didn't take it. Sadly. Nice. So, one more um, stock left. One more life left until this guy dies. Oh my god. No! No! Bruh! You see, this is why I don't play as Mr. Game Watch as much as I used to. Uh, back when I was a little kid, or when I was younger, usually when I played as well Mr. Game Watch, I was always winning matches. I don't know how I was winning matches with Mr. Game Watch. Um, I don't see any really... I don't see that many videos on Mr. Game Watch in terms of a competitive um, stuff. But I'm not sure if Mr. Game Watch is actually a viable character to play as in like a tournament. But hey, people play as Jigglypuff, so I'm not sure. <laughs> um, Jigglypuff has that one move where, um... Oh, uh, what, what is it supposed to be about? Um, it's basically like a one-hit KO. Or sometimes like a two-hit KO, I'm not sure. But, um, if you use it one time, it should, like, deal a lot of damage to the opponent. And if it doesn't, then it will at least have some effect on the person you're fighting against. And sometimes it has a big effect, which the big effect is you will die after that. After Jigglypuff uses the thing, so yeah, uh, that made any sense. But um, let's move on to the next match. Video by playing as Roy. Now Roy is from Fire Emblem. You probably know that. I just thought I'd say that because I want to look like I know myself. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, um, I don't really play as Roy as much. I mean, Roy's a good character, but I just said, like, I'd play as other characters besides Roy, but, you know, honestly, um, yeah, I do play as Roy, sometimes, whenever I need to choose a different character, besides, um, you know, Mario and Dr. Mario and Super Smash Bros. Melee, because those characters are my mains, Roy isn't my main in Smash Bros. Melee, in fact, I never made Roy, I mean, Wait, is Roy in Smash 4? Oh, wait, wait, no, he's not. Is it? I forgot. I don't think he's in Super Smash Bros. 4. It's only been like a couple days since I played that game, I already forgot if he was in Super Smash Bros. 4. I thought he should have been included as DLC because Mewtwo was included as DLC, so I would have made sense to put him as well, you know? Bring back the Melee Legacy, I mean, Dr. Mario's in Super Smash Bros. 4. Mewtwo's in Super Smash Bros. 4. Why don't you bring back Roy? I mean, was it be a popular candidate? I mean, the whole point of Smash Brothers is to bring characters that are new to like the scene so people can try them out and then play their games. It's kind of like a marketing strategy. Um, you're not gonna suck me. You just, you just lost your ability to use my attacks, but you know, you want to get my ability back for some reason, which makes no sense, Kirby, honestly. I gotta say, this game hasn't aged bad at all. It's actually really good looking. The GameCube was a really powerful system. To be oh! It's like more. Whew. Playing with a 360 controller, Jesus Christ. Alright, nice. Alright. Oh! Nice try. Whoa! What is with that lag? Jesus Christ. I didn't check my computer. Let's go. Ah! Why? You should have came up. Hmm. 
can play in his voice really hard. Jesus Christ. Oh! Ah, screw you! Screw you, game. What was this, level 6? My hands are literally frozen. Like, it's 30 degrees sometimes outside. I have to stand outside just to do my work. Because I have some classes that I have to do outside work. And so, like, it really sucks. My hands are really cold. And for some reason, my window's open. Why is my window open? It's literally like 30 degrees outside. It feels like 20 degrees, but I'm just saying. It kind of snowed yesterday. It kind of snowed. That doesn't really do anything. I just want to finish this match. Please, game. How am I struggling? Oh my god. Okay, I just found out why I don't play as Roy. It's because of this. Oh! Nice! Please die, Kirby. Please die. I'm being completely honest. Please. Bury yourself because I'm about to destroy you. Oh! Nice. I told you! Please go somewhere else before you die, but you decided to get killed anyways. So I'm out. That is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for some more content. I'll see you guys in the next video of 12 Days of Smash. And um, yeah, um, this was actually a pretty good match. It shows me what characters I should play as in Super Smash Bros. Melee. If I decide to play this game a lot more than 4, but I do play Super Smash Bros. 4 still a lot more than Melee, so yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.